Hello, my name is Seket, and we are playing Team Rustic 4, and I'm recording this after recording the episode because uh, the first few clips, I forgot to turn the mic on. So uh, sorry about that. Sorry about the slightly shorter episode. Didn't miss that much. Here we go. I think it's Create Deco that adds uh, these cool scarlet bricks. Uh, make a bunch of those, and I think can get some variants in the stone cutter. So there it is. It's pretty basic, but I like it. Now that we got the barn built, next thing I want to do is uh, make a pair of crushing wheels from Create. You just uh, need uh, 21 mechanical crafters, some planks and stone, and a bunch of andesite alloy. And these are going to work kind of like our macerator, but they'll chop up different stuff, including the, uh, the creators, which uh, a macerator doesn't do. So I've run some rotational force out here. And you see we got two gearboxes so that the, uh, they're rotating in opposite directions towards each other, sort of. I'm going to put one wheel here. And, okay, so I'm, I'm one too far off. That's fine. Go ahead and put the gearbox back down. There we go. Now to feed the things, I want uh, something called a chute, and I think that these will just suck items out of inventories. There we go. I may, it might have to be up one higher. I'm not sure. Let's feed it something. Uh, feed us some cobblestone. Let's put them up here manually in the barrel. Looks like something's happening. Okay, it's definitely... Okay, yeah. Perfect. Alright. It's a little primitive. But it'll do the trick. Hopper will catch stuff as it uh, drops from the wheels, put it in the barrel, the pipe from this barrel, we'll take it up, drop the stuff in. I'm pretty sure our, uh, our sand troubles are over. If we were to take uh, some gravel. See, see it's shredding up. Let's see what we get. Oh, okay, it's giving us, yeah, it's giving us sand. Awesome. Now I want to start thinking about a shop. Um, where's my, uh, there we go. And we're going to build it outside out of a couple different blocks. We're going to use uh, these copper tiles which you can get with copper plates out of the stone cutter. Put that back in here. And we're going to use some of these iron plates. Also going to want to use some of these uh, steel scaffolding slabs. So we're going to make a bunch of steel rods. And I'll make the basics. And you just craft them with each other to get uh, to get all the different types. I also moved my farm over here, and I figure this is as good a time as any to start mystical agriculture. We have just a little bit of inferium essence. 
Uh, that's enough to make a couple of seeds with enough left over to make a farmland that gives us a better chance of getting seeds back. You see secondary chance, 20%. And we'll just start growing them. So now that we got some livestock and a decent sized farm, next thing I want to get into is a kitchen. And we got Farmer's Delight. So we're gonna make two stoves with campfires, logs, not too complicated. And we're gonna make a cooking pot. And we're gonna make a skillet. And the pot's gonna go right there. The skillet's gonna go right there. I think that'll work. Let's give it a try. Seems like it's working. And you don't have to fuel these once you make them. Yeah, cool. And I also want to take a look at these cabinets from Farmer's Delight. See, I don't know how much space they give you. Let's find out. Oh, they're uh, the size of a chest. Cool. Another thing we're going to want is a cutting board. Just some planks and some sticks. Uh, put it down right on top of the cabinet. And we're gonna want a knife. And we might as well go for a diamond. Here we go. Just leave it on the cutting board for now. So what can we do with this stuff? I'm gonna make a whole bunch of bowls here. Throw them in, and uh, let's see, what would be a good thing to start with? About uh, beef stew, perfect. So, we're gonna grab ourselves eight beef, and you saw the recipe, you could use either beef or, uh, or ground beef. So we're going to make some ground beef. Just uh, right click with your uh, whatever it is, in this case beef, on the cutting board with a knife. And we're going to want that. We're going to want 16. A lot of these don't stack to 64. Um, most of the bowl stuff stacks to 16 and just throw it in there and it'll cook it up for you and it's good food this is you, know, you can see that saturation it's awesome now it's time to think about upgrading our gear um, we're gonna want to make some crimson steel we can make uh, eight ingots looks like a uh, Magma cream, what I'm trying to say. Magma cream is the, uh, is the stumbling point there. Let's, uh, so we'll do a pick and a katana. And the pick will allow us to, uh, to mine that azure silver in the end which we will use to make even better tools. Yeah, so that's 8.6, 6.4. You can see this is tier four, it's tier two. And nice new sword. Base 11.6 versus 9.4, awesome. I'm going to move the immersive engineering multi blocks over here. And I also want to make the, uh, the tank. So we'll need some treated wood fences and a bunch of iron sheet metal. This will hold a uh, 512. Go. 
go. It's hollow in the middle here. whack down here. Oh, that right there. There we go. Uh, pump the creosote oil out. We're going to use uh, the fluid pipes from the pipes as mod. Uh, they work just like the item pipes. We're going to shift right click. Throw this in here. And this will slowly fill up with creosote oil. Yeah. Now, <laughs> we're here on the main island at the end and we can pick this stuff up. This stuff is what we need to get into easy villagers. Alright, we found some on the main island. Uh, we can't... Uh, we don't really have any way of doubling this. So uh, 42 is what we have. There we go. How to make the Azure Electrum. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's not cheap, but we'll have uh, enough for 10 here. Also going to need a bunch of these aluminum blocks. That would be enough. Blocks of emerald. Tinted glass. Okay. Definitely have amethyst. Think we might be ready? Alright. One trader. Now the very first thing I want to do is make this iron farm. It's expensive. Um, the void anvils are a lot of iron. <laughs> and... Uh, you need the iron plates and the iron sheets. These don't seem to dictionary with each other, and it's uh, more emerald blocks. But uh, these things are totally worth it. And I think we need a villager. The nitwit might suffice. Hey, fellas. We're going to put this thing down right here. Yeah, we need... There we go. Just kind of shift-clicked him in there. Let's see how it goes. Alright, I didn't see anything happen with the nipple. Let's try this guy. Okay, great. It's working. We just missed it. Okay, looks like we have two ready. Hmm. What's this guy up here? Now, uh, let's see. Should we cycle these? I think they all get iron for a second trade. I guess we're about to find out. Let's see here. Go more. Go. Yeah, okay, cool. Now we can just take the iron and uh, get more emeralds that way. I realize that I've, I've continuously forgotten about the new vanilla mechanic of uh, fortune on ore. So we're going to risk some of our Azure Electrum. Um, we want to pick anyway. Um, it's really fast. And uh, we're going to put fortune on this. I got fortune three first try in this other stuff. So this is probably going to be our, this thing's going to be fast. So it's probably going to be the pick we're going to use. Um, we're going to go ahead and add mending to it. And then we're going to use this quark tone to take this up to fortune four. And we might as well name it at this point, right? There it is. Okay, we didn't get the name, but we did get Fortune 4. Let's see. Oh, okay. 
Very good. So from 36 of the ore with the Fortune 4, we got 107 of the raw Azure Silver. That'll be a good, what, like 21 Azure Electrum. So that's great. Now that we've got our, uh, our Azure Electrum supply together, uh, we're going to want to make a breeder. Just need a couple more emerald blocks, one of the traders, and uh, six beds. There we go. Pops a breeder right above the incubator here. And we got two adults. So we'll put him in here. We got a gooey. We need to give him food. Let's give him a bunch of potatoes. Let's see how they do. I went ahead and made a hammer too out of the Azure Electrum. Uh, where did this thing go? That's awesome. One more thing for us to check out is the uh, Easy Piglet. I need four emerald blocks for this because this is going to take a trader and then uh, we're going to need some nether bricks. There we go. And a couple of gold blocks. There we go. Gold armor on. I know we can't pick them up when they're trying to attack. We tried that before. So there is a likely looking fellow. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Come here. Yoink. Alright, I think we're going to put this uh, right here. Why not? I have some questions. Let's put, uh, let's put a barrel down right here. Let's put a hopper facing into the barrel. I know with the village is in a box, you need an auto trader, but I don't know about the piglins. Let's see. Give them some gold. What if anything's going to happen? Oh, I picked it up. <laughs> Not the fastest, huh? Oh, wait a minute. It is pretty fast. We're getting stuff here. Cool, so we can just kind of throw some gold in there and get all the, uh, the piglin stuff. And that's, you know, easy villagers, more or less. I think that's going to about do it for this episode, but there's a lot more I want to do in this pack, so uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, face flat.